The last villain of the piece is chlorine. The chlorine villain is not what you probably think of as chlorine on a normal basis. Mm -hmm. It's not just bleach. Bleach is a certain, is chlorine atoms that are bound to other atoms. What we're talking about are, is that chlorine atom, the, the element chlorine, attached to nothing else. And that means that it can go crazy. There is nothing tempering its reactivity. Mm -hmm. It can go and react with all sorts of different molecules that it wouldn't otherwise be able to react with. One thing we have been learning in home chem is that you might mop your floors with a bleach solution, all according to the manufacturer's instructions, which you should do. And you might think that all of that chlorine is just going to go on the floor and kill all the microbes and you'll have a nice clean floor. But it turns out that all of those molecules can then re-emit into the air and you could be breathing them. And then, not only that, they do chemistry. What we're breathing is not just the bleach. We're breathing all of the reaction products of the bleach and the food, and the bleach and the microbes, and the bleach and the mud. And all of those reaction products may actually be much more interesting from a chemistry perspective, harmful from a human health perspective. We're not really sure, but that's what we're looking for. I don't like to see young couples using chlorinated bleaches in their homes. I've done research on the use of chlorinated laundry detergents and dishwasher detergents and know that you form a lot of chloroform, uh, which is a really bad, it's a toxic chemical. Um, and we know that we also form other toxic chemicals when we use chlorine bleach in dishwashers and washing machines. And a large amount of what's formed in the water gets released into the air. So. We've done research, my own team, on just dishwashers and families that use chlorine bleach and dishwashers on a regular basis, say every night to wash the dishes. And our calculations are that if somebody does that, the amount of chloroform, this very toxic chemical that you inhale um, by generating it just in a dishwasher, is about equal to the amount of chloroform that you would get into your blood from drinking water in a city that has relatively high chloroform levels. So that's how serious it is. You know, people worry about toxic chemicals in their water, but we can generate them in our homes and inhale the same amounts, you know, through our, through our lungs that, that people are drinking in. When you map the floors with bleach, when it interacts with all of the other nitrogen-containing molecules in the surfaces and perhaps also in the air, anything from food particles that have some protein in them, or perhaps it's mud and dirt that's been tracked into the house, uh, or maybe it's gases that were released from the gas stove we have in the house. Uh, that chemistry is producing a molecule, nitrile chloride, ClNO2, and that molecule is really interesting to me because we've really only studied it out in the ocean in marine environments. It comes mm -hmm. out of sea spray and, and, the, and the ocean reactions. You have sea salt and you have lots of nitrogen uh, in the ocean and in the atmosphere, and those reactions are releasing this gas phase molecule, and we're seeing it here in the home. Other places we've seen it are in uh, Colorado when you put salt out on the roads mm -hmm. to melt the snow. And then again, there's some chemical reactions that occur in the atmosphere. So what we're seeing inside the home, it's a little bit like what we see on an ocean coast or maybe over a road that's been salted. But that was really surprising to me. And it's really interesting. We're really looking forward to figuring out the chemistry and seeing why a house looks a little bit like an ocean. And then what happens to it afterwards, right? Absolutely. Because and this molecule participates in chemistry after it's emitted and it's in the air. Right. And so we're seeing that the nitrile chloride is actually then producing uh, or is then correlated to the production later on of some other nitrogen chlorine species. So mm -hmm. it's just the first step in a series of chemical reactions. Exactly. There were so many organic molecules in the indoor environment that that chlorine can go and it has so many victims that it can go. And We're trying attack. to figure out which one it prefers. What's coming out at it, it, any given time when somebody starts mopping their floors right. with a chlorine-based cleaner? Exactly. 